Hello everyone and welcome back to Movement. This week what we are going to do is continue exploring our own movement, but now we're going to start opening up and watching how other people move as well. This activity is called the box. It could also be called the chair, but usually when we're in class we have an acting cube, so it's a box, but at home it's probably going to be a chair. But what you're going to do is I want you to walk from one end of your room to the other, right? But you're going to have a chair in the middle of the room. You're going to walk to the chair, sit down in the chair, and then I want you to imagine that there are people all around the room. And I want you to make eye contact with all of the imaginary people around the room. Then I want you to stand up and exit the frame. So I want you to think of the frame of the camera as the stage. You're going to enter, sit down, look. Pop up and move to the other end. That's it. It's so important that when you do this exercise, that you are yourself. Be yourself. You have to be relaxed and you have to move in the most natural way that you possibly can. Now, I realize that that's weird, right? You're going, of course, I have to be me. But as soon as I fill a room with 400 people, walking across the stage is not, it's not easy anymore. If I told you to walk across the stage, you could do it easy. But if I turn on a movie camera and I let you know everyone's gonna be watching you, or if I fill a room with 400 people and everyone's watching you, Suddenly, you're so afraid of being judged that we add intention to our bodies and we're so self-conscious that we can't move. We don't move the way we do. Well, you won't learn anything and we won't learn anything if you are not honest about who you are. So what I want you to do is relax. Just walk, sit down, look, stand up, walk. That's it but you have to be you because we have to learn by watching real human beings move. That's the most important part of this. So what I want you to do now is record yourself doing this. Then I want you to post it to the discussion board and then I want you to go and watch your classmates and I want you to take notes and find out, see if you can deduce how they move. What story also is that person telling the world? Most communication is nonverbal, right? Well, the only way that we can find out how we are communicating with all of that nonverbal language is by watching the person move. So when they walk, how fast were they walking? What was the tempo? What was their relationship with the ground? Did they have heavy steps? Did they have light steps? When they sat down, did they plop down? Did they sit down gracefully? And then when they looked around the room, how fast was it? Did they lean back and move away from us? Or did they lean into us? Or did, or did they stay neutral? And then when they left, how fast did they get up? How fast did they walk? Again, did that relationship change? If you hadn't met this person before, what would you guess that this person was like just based on their movement? I want you to pay attention to as many of those things as possible because if you had to become that person, you would have to move like that person. What things would you need to do to change how you move into how they move? Good. So what I want you to do is take notes and then I want you to respond to others. See, see what they thought of you. See what you thought of them. And this should be something that we celebrate and we learn from each other on. All right, everybody. I can't wait to see your videos and your comments. And I'll see you soon.